The high school football season kicks off one week from tomorrow night. A very special opener for the California Pintos as they debut on a new Riley Field. For the first time, the Pintos got to practice on that new turf today. The new stadium conveniently built right next to the high school. The old Riley Field was across town. The $1.8 million project includes new stands that will seat over 2,000 fans, a major upgrade, new visiting locker room, concession stand, ticket booth, and a new scoreboard that has yet to be installed. The logo at midfield and the end zones designed by California students and the art teacher. For the players, it was a thrill to practice on the new home of the Pintos. I love the field. I think the, uh, the blue and the red really, really stand out, and I think the logo it's definitely, I think, better than any we could have put on, on our old field. We've been hearing about this field since we, were, since we got into high school, so uh, we're really excited to get to be the first senior class to play on the field and uh, play a full season on it. The kids actually uh, did this, so kids and, and Brad Frederick are art teachers, so um, really proud of them, and it really looks nice, I think. It does look great. The Pintos will head to Blair Oaks for a jamboree tomorrow night, then back home to Christen, the new Riley Field, the next week battling the Boonville Pirates. A new head coach at Mexico High School, Steve Haig, the former Missouri Tiger offensive lineman from the 1990s, becomes the third head coach in the last four years for the Bulldogs. Haig does bring some stability. He's been at Mexico for 14 years, working as an assistant coach for the Bulldogs, who've won only four games total the past two years combined but hopes are high for the future. The guys are there, they're competing. Now what we gotta do is take that step and that competition um, you know, over to the other side and, and make some wins there and not be three and seven, but hopefully you know, a seven and three mark. I think we've gotten better. I think we're ready for this year. Um, we got a lot, we got more seniors than we had last year. Um, guys are ready. We got freshman guys stepping up, so I think we're ready this year. Steve Hag and the Mexico Bulldogs will open up the season at home a week from tomorrow night, welcoming North Callaway the Thunderbirds. The Bankers Challenge Golf Series comes to an end tonight with River Reach and Credit Union. Will Jefferson Bank, the defending champs, go down? They've led all season long with a shot that ended up two and a half feet away, but wait till you see this. Oak Hills Golf Course in Jefferson City, par three, third hole over the water, 135 yards away from the elevated tee's pretty hole, and an extra target between the tee and the green. A kayaker, that's a first on the Bankers Challenge. You know, we're not going to let you get away this year. We, we, I brought in two new talented guys, one Justin from our branch in Ashland and, and Matt's from our branch in Columbia, and they're, they're great guys and great golfers. Your family has a little golf interest in Ashland. They do have a driving range. Uh, <laughs> I don't get out there as much as I'd like. Uh, all this water out here is scaring me today. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure, especially after uh, how he talked me up here a little while ago <laughs> and being on TV. So, that, yes, a lot of pressure, but I'm hoping to live up to it. All right, the kayak is gone, but the water is still there. 135 yards. We each get three shots closest to the pin competition. Justin Basinger, former standout baseball player at Southern Boone, now branch manager in his hometown at the new River Region Credit Union. Justin's first shot, 27 feet away. Next up, former Hickman QP Matt Brockmeyer, the Columbia branch manager. This one goes just over the flag, back of the green, about 30 feet away. But here is the shot of the night. Rick Nichols, president of River Region, former Jamestown hoop star. Watch this, goes right over the stick, few feet past, comes back. Oh, that is close, but is it close enough? We'll see in a moment. My best shot, this is pretty good. Checks up, a little more backspin, and this one ends up five feet away. We'll go back to Rick Nichols' shot. Measured up at three Feet away, six inches shy of the best bankers challenge shot of the season. Rick, though, claims the River Region bragging rights, and he beat me. My accidental shot actually came up close, so that was that worked out great. And you beat me. I definitely take pride in that. <laughs> <laughs>